Hi, it's Mo from Linka. So you just received your Linka Smart Bike Lock. We're super excited for getting it to you and can't wait to help you get it set up as quickly as possible. Today we're gonna go through a quick unboxing, quick setup guide, as well as mounting to your bike. Let's get started. You just received this box right here. So let's get started by sliding the sleeve right off in this manner. Put that down. And inside here, you'll have an inside box. It's a hard shell box that has everything you need to get set up. So as soon as we open the box, the first thing you'll see is your Linka device, as well as a quick start guide. On the back of the quick start guide is a poly bag that entails your mounting hardware and your micro USB charger. So speaking of charging, the first thing we want to do is take your Linka out of the box and we're going to want to plug it in and charge overnight. So you'll see the weather cap here where the charge cable is going to be going. And we're going to pop that off like that. And just like the cooking shows on TV where things are done in advance, we actually already have a micro USB cable ready to go. As soon as I plug this in, you'll hear a startup tone and the LED will turn solid red. Now your Linka is charging. We'll leave that overnight. While the time you wake up, it'll be solid green. You'll have a 100% full battery ready to go. Now that we've plugged in our Linka lock overnight, we should see a solid green LED indicator that indicates that our battery is fully charged. Let's go ahead and unplug our micro USB cable and we can close the weather cap. In this place, we will see no LED light because the device is off. So to simply wake it up, you can press the power button once and it will start blinking blue. This indicates that it's in discoverable mode. Now that we've already downloaded the app, we can go ahead and go through the login page. In this situation, we can either sign in with our existing account, sign in through Facebook, or sign up with a brand new account. You can press search for Linka in the setup page, and you'll find your Linka pop up immediately. Click on that device, and it'll begin to pair. Once it pairs, you'll see it'll connect right away, and it will request immediately to set up a phoneless access code. Now this is stored in our phone, and you'll see this is our home page for our lock. You'll see the battery percentage and the number of days remaining before the battery is fully drained. On top of that, now the LED indicator on Linka is actually blinking green. That means that you're paired. So now that your phone is connected to your, uh, your, your Linka lock and everything is working fine, you're operating the, the app just fine, let's go ahead and start playing with your lock a little bit. Uh, so let's talk about locking. There's only one way to lock Linka, and it's through double pressing the power button. And this is mostly for safety and security reasons. The last thing we want to do is have a situation where somebody accidentally locks while the bike is being ridden. You simply double tap the power button and your Linka will lock as well as you'll see a locking notification on the lock. Then you'll hear three beeps. Those three beeps indicate that your device is now locked. You'll also see in the app itself that a shackle has gone through here that indicates the device is locked. So now that our device is locked, you can see that there's a shackle there and you can see that we're fully locked here. There are three separate ways to unlock Linka. Number one is by simply double, double pressing the power button on Linka itself. You can double press the shackle in the app, or if you have auto unlocking mode on, you have to leave the zone completely, meaning you have to leave beyond 100 meters and walk back in and it'll start to unlock within three to four meters. So in this situation, we have auto unlocking deactivated. So let's just simply double tap the shackle and we start unlocking. And now you're ready to ride. In many cases, we misplace our phones, or our phone battery dies, or we drop it in a river, or our dog eats it, whatever the story is, our phone's not with us, and we try to get home, and our bike is locked. So this sounds like a serious problem, and we know it is, so we focused a lot of our energy on something we call a phoneless access code. So this phoneless access code is a code that you create and enter the first time you uh, pair your device with the Link app. It's a four-digit code, very similar to the ATM code, and you remember that code for later, just when the situation happens. So in that situation, we are gonna demonstrate that now by turning the Bluetooth off on the, the app, that indicates that the device is not connectable. You can tell by, if, if I try to lock it, it won't lock. So we're gonna enter phoneless access code by holding down the power button for six seconds. We'll see the LED start blinking pink. The minute it does that, now I can enter that four digit passcode. And in, in this case, it's one, Two, one, two. Now our device starts to lock or unlock. So now that you have your smartphone connected to your Linka lock, let's get your Linka lock mounted onto your bike and get you ready to go right away. 
So in this specific situation, we have a bike that has existing mounting nuts built into the seat stays. So for this situation, we provided you with two M5 bolts that will work for fastening onto the bike itself. For this, you will need a hex head that's four millimeters, this is not included, to fasten that Linka lock. So in this situation, we're gonna grab our Linka, we're gonna toss it right over the wheel, including the fender, so we work with fenders as well. And we're going to align the slots on Linka to the holes on the seat stay. And once we have an alignment, we're gonna grab our bolts and start tightening them in. So once you start tightening that, it'll take a couple of turns before it starts tightening it up. And then, now you're all set. An alternative way to mounting link -a lock onto your bike is using the supplied zip ties or universal mounts. In this situation, we can mount uh, link -a onto any standard seat stay approach that does not have any nut mount holes. So we're just gonna grab our Linka, we're gonna to toss it right over the wheel, and we're going to align the slots so that we have a little bit of an opening so we can slide in the tie down around the seat stay, and we'll see the tie down stick out from the other side. Then we're ready to start tying it down. For more information and a complete owner's manual, check out the website below. We hope you really enjoy your Linka Smart Bike Lock and have fun riding.